This is your third mini mall, Mr. Grant. What made you come to us this time? Well, to tell you the truth, that other company's just way too corporate for me. I do much better working one on one, and this place has a great reputation for that. Well, thank you. I'm glad to hear that. I see that you already have some dry cleaners and convenience stores on the site. Yes, there is. But I feel that the neighborhood's really about to take off. Lots of people building condos. Professionals are buying them. Are you planning to make some changes? I was thinking along the lines of a Wi-Fi coffee franchise, maybe an ice cream parlor next door. You've done your homework. Always do. Excuse me. Uh, Brenda, I'm still with Mr. Grant. No, no, uh, just hold on. I'm sorry, I have to take this. Of course. I can reach you at this number? Anytime. Well, I look forward to it. Me too. Melissa? week beyond me. I'm not giving you any more money. Same old big sister, just cut right to the chase. I haven't heard a word from you in six months. No phone number, no address. I got a new place. Our father's in a hospice, Melissa. He's dying. But you know what he says every time I visit him? He says, where's Melissa? Why doesn't she come around? Like it's my fault. I wanted to, I just, I've been busy. I need to talk to you. Katie, please, I'm in real trouble. What is it this time? You forge another check? You forget to pay your rent again? Oh, these guys are looking for me. What guys? I can't tell you. This better not be a play for sympathy, Melissa. I swear to God. I'm serious. I saw something last night that I wasn't supposed to see something bad. <laughs> it's just a car. I have to go. No, Melissa, why don't you tell me what's going on? I shouldn't have called you. At least tell me where you're staying, where I can reach you. That's a bad idea. I'm gonna give you 20 bucks. Are you kidding me? I'm in serious trouble here, kid. What am I supposed to do with it's that? It's all I've got. Just take it for now. I've gotta be somewhere. I am already late. I have- Well, I'm sorry to interrupt your busy day. That's not what I meant. Look, why don't we just meet at the bank, I'm gonna get you more money, and we meet in an hour. Okay. But before I give you another dime, Melissa, we are gonna sit down and you are gonna tell me what's going on. Keep 
keep screwing up. <laughs> One hour. I'll be there. Where are you going? Where you been? Carl is looking for you. What now, Hobart? <laughs> I'm just the messenger, babe. You want to see me, Carl? Shelly, this is Detective McLaren. He works twice. Hi, Shelly. How you doing? What's going on, Carl? I'm looking for Melissa Brennan. She didn't come in today. I haven't seen her. Any idea where she is? She's got a sister. They don't get along. Do you know her sister's name? She never said. You hear from her. You give me a call. Shame about Alex. Mm. We're withholding his name from the press for a couple of days, see how this thing plays out. Folks around here are gonna wonder what he is. Won't be the first time he hasn't been in the club. Yeah. I'm on my way. You gotta go. I'm gonna keep the rest of the cops away from this place for a few days. See if this Melissa comes back around. It's a good thought. So what happens to his half of this place now that he's dead? Good question. Take care, Carl. Yeah, you too, Paul. I uh, started the preliminary paperwork on Mr. Grant's application. It, sh it should only take a day or two. Thanks, Brenda. He seemed like a nice guy. It's not too hard on the eyes, either. Not that you noticed. Well, the question is, did you? Trust me, Brenda. After a while, every client looks the same. Ah, so that's the problem. What? I know you, Kate. And beneath that sharp suit and the MBA patois, there's a real sweetheart. So maybe you should just let her out once in a while. Thanks, Brenda, but I'm fine. Okay. See you in the morning. Thanks. There was a vice cop looking for you at the club. Are you sure he was vice? That's what he said. McLaren said you should call him. What is going on? What this guy want with you? I don't know. What'd Carl say? You know Carl. 
All he cares about is that you show up to work, which incidentally, you better call, tell him you're sick. Yeah, yeah, he will. Did they say anything about Alex at all? Not with me. I know Alex hasn't been in the club all day. Carl said he was... Hang on. Did you and Alex get into a fight? Is that what this is about? I'd really rather not talk about it right now. Hey, poor kid. That man could always be such a jerk when he wanted to. Would it be okay if I crashed here for a couple nights? Sure, honey. Absolutely. I don't have any of my stuff. Hmm. I'll find something that'll fit you. Good evening, Miss Brennan. Hi. I had them all on your table. Oh, thank you, Michael. This way, please. It's been a long day. Yeah, you've had a lot of those lately. No, no kidding. How is Sarah's recital? Oh, Madonna, she danced beautifully. But then again, oh, I'm a father, no? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'll just have the Caesar salad and a glass of Merlot tonight. Va bene, allora. Moment, excuse. Here is absolutely right. Well, we've seen that time and time again with this time, right? So, here he is. Here we are. Hi. Now oh, you jump ship on me. How are you? Have you eaten here before? No. Best Italian place in town. You've got to try the fettuccine. No. So, I hope you're hungry. I ordered you a double scotch. I plan to get you entirely ripped tonight. Detective McLaren picked up the call off the radio. How you doing? Okay, I guess. Give us a second. I'd like to ask you about your sister, Ms. Brennan. Melissa? Is she all right? That's a very good question. Do you know where she is? I, I saw her this afternoon. Do you have any other residence besides 924 Dexter Avenue that you know of? I've never even been to her place. Can you please just tell me what's going on? She ever mentioned a guy by the name of Alex Kendall? Today is the first time I've seen her in over six months. Kendall's part owner of a strip club down by the airport. At least he was. Last night he got murdered outside his home. What does this have to do with my sister? She and Kendall started dating about six months ago. They went out to dinner last night. She went back to his place. She was there? We think she witnessed the murder. Miss Brennan, these are some very bad people. If they know she was there, they'll be coming for her. Oh, I think they already have. Excuse me? She was supposed to meet me this afternoon, and that now maybe they followed me. Like this guy tonight? He asked about Melissa, and he said he wants their money back. What money? I don't know. You know your sister has a rap sheet. No, she doesn't. Hmm. A couple of DUIs, drug possession, picked up for soliciting, but those charges were dropped. You think she's a suspect? What I think, Miss Brennan, whether she's a suspect or not, you better look after yourself. You're in this too now. You okay? I don't know. Well, I don't know about you, but I could use a drink. Come on. I mean, my sister and I were really close when we were kids. Every summer, we would go to this place with our dad, just the three of us, Twin Oaks Lake. There was a bunch of cabins in the middle of nowhere. 
And my dad would go off fishing all day, and Melissa and I would just explore and talk about everything. Anything. That sounds nice. <laughs> I have to say, this feels very strange, because I don't even know you. That's OK. Sometimes that's the best way. No baggage, just talk. Actually, that's the problem between my sister and I. Baggage. Well, your sisters. You'll work it out. My senior year in high school, I took a waitress job, saving up money for college the next year. And I would keep my tips in a box in my room. And I must have saved 3,000 bucks. And one day I come back from work and it's gone. Let me guess. She took it. Oh, she took it. <laughs> she took it. All of a sudden, she showed up in new clothes and new jewelry. And I asked her about it. She said she had no idea. And she never admitted it. You must have been pretty angry. Oh, yeah. But there was nothing I could do. The money was already gone. And not long after, my mom passed away. And I sort of had to take over and help my dad rein her in. But then she got work. She got modeling jobs locally. And when I went to college, she went to parties. And things got worse. You know, a year ago, I told her I would pay for her to go back to school. And she said, I want to study art. I said, OK, you do that. And I covered all her expenses. And then six months ago, I find out she's not even registered. She went to Cancun instead. So I just, uh, I decided to cut her loose. And now she's back in my life, and uh, I don't know if I can help her. Do you still want to? Yeah, of course. Well, then you have to try. I'll follow you home. You don't have to do that. OK. You're still going to follow me home, aren't you? Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you. Don't give up on her, Kate. I don't even know where she is. Let me help you find her. Why would you do that? I grew up in a foster home. And there was this kid there who's a lot younger than me. Really scared, you know? Could never look anyone in the eye. So I, I kind of look after him. Showed him the ropes, you know? We became pretty close, too. Well, when we got older, he started to get into trouble. Little things at first, but for too long, he got into some pretty serious stuff. And I tried to help him out. But it seemed the harder I tried, the worse he got. So eventually, I decided no more. So what happened? Somebody found him in a dumpster one day. And he had been beaten so bad that I couldn't even recognize him. Cops never found out who did it. I'm so sorry. Let me walk you to your car. Just reschedule everything for later in the week. Mrs. Sawyer's coming by to look over the papers on the Lake Edmond house. Don't let her freak out over the quarter point on the interest rate. It will be fine. We're not locked in yet. It can go back down. What? No, I can't talk to anyone this morning. Just take a message, and I'll check in later. 
No, 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 I'm fine. <laughs> okay, thanks, Brenda. I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye. Dad? Catherine. How are you feeling this morning? I decided to work on my tan. Tell everyone I went to the beach. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a good idea. So, I got a couple of books on tape. Your mystery author that you love so much. Where's Melissa? Didn't she come? Dad, don't you remember I told you she's still in Europe? Oh. People might try to take advantage of her, all alone over there. Maybe you should go see her. Dad, I can. My work. It's not the best time right now. That's more important than your sister? She depends on you. I know. She's not strong, like you. Well, Dad, sometimes I'm not so strong either. <laughs> Dad? Dad, you okay? Okay. Maybe you'd better take me back to my room. Okay. Hey, Dad, you know what I was thinking? Twin Oaks Lake, cabin number eight. How much fun we had up there. She's a beautiful girl, your sister. Yes, she is, Dad. Yes? Hello? Is it her? Miss Brennan. Please tell me, is it her? The body was found in an abandoned car. There was no ID. For now, she's listed as a Jane Doe, but from the description. You ready? Yes. It's not her. Are you sure? No, it's not my sister. <gasps> Sorry to put you through this, Miss Brennan. We need to be sure. What happens to her? That woman in there? Hopefully someone identifies her. She goes back to her family. And my sister? Well, it's a big old world, isn't it? A lot of people get lost, not all of them get found again. Not all of them want to be found. You think she set Kendall up? You think that she took his money and she took off, right? Seems to be the prevailing opinion, yes. Well, she wouldn't do that. Which part? One where she's setting up Kendall or double-crossing the killers? None of it. How do you know? Because she's my sister. The same sister you haven't spoken to in, what was it, six months? Listen to me. She came to me yesterday. She needed my help. She was scared. She wanted money from me. Why would she do that if she robbed somebody? Offhand? Maybe she's afraid of spending his money. Maybe she's got it stashed somewhere. I just can't get to it. Or maybe... What? What did that guy say to you last night? His exact words. <laughs> I don't remember what his exact words were. I don't... You told the investigating officer, they don't get that money back. They're not coming after your sister. They're coming after you. So what are you saying? You're saying that she brought me into this on purpose? The more time they spend watching you, the better chance she has of disappearing. And like I said, it's a big old world. You know, I think you're wrong because she wouldn't do it in spite of everything. She would not do this.
Mel? Mel? Oh, my God. It's Kate. Can't come to the phone. Leave a message. Kate, it's Luke. I've been calling your office all day. I practically had to propose to your assistant to get this number. What's going on? Where are you? Can you call me? Could I leave something for her? In the back. Thanks. that I can come back here. I'm just looking for a job. Well, we're always looking for new talent. You ever danced before? Yeah, sure. I, not locally. I'm just, uh, well, I, I just moved into the city. Fresh off the bus, huh? Something like that. <laughs> Do you have an application or uh, something? What's your name, Ben? Reba. Well, you got a nice look, Reba. It's very uptight. Guys get into that when they see it on stage. Thank you. <laughs> what uh, brought you by vinyl? I uh, heard about it from a couple of dancers who used to work here. Oh, yeah. Which ones? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> um, it was a while ago, but they said that uh, the owners were real fair with the dancers and all. Yeah, well, they do okay by the girls. Yeah, I heard that, especially Alex Kendall. He, he owns the place, right? Yeah, sure, but don't kid yourself. I run the place, hiring and firing. You get the picture, right? Sure. So, how about that application? Absolutely. But first, what do you say you dance for me? What? Now? Take off your clothes. I don't have my music. Improvise. I think I'm gonna come back at another time, really. Yeah, you don't wanna dance. That's cool. But why are you here? What do you mean? 
I saw your nose in around Melissa's locker. Just because her name is uh, familiar, that was all. Really, I'm just here for the job. Why is it I don't believe you? Well, now, that's more like it. Please continue. Sweetie, this is a strip club. Everything comes off. Jeff, what the hell's going on in there? Not now, Shelly. Hey! You slimy bastard. Carl told you not to talk to me like that no more. Yeah, well, Carl also said that he's the only one that auditions dancers. You want to go see him together? We can discuss it. You better watch yourself. Next girl you corner in here, you're not going to have to worry about Carl. You're going to have to deal with me. I hate that trailer trash loose ball. What a girl has to do to get a job these days. Not looking for a job. Excuse me? I've been doing this 10 years, and I'd lay odds you've never even been inside of a strip club before. Is it that obvious? This is not the place for you. My sister works here. Sister? Melissa Brennan. Do you know her? Yeah. Well, I need to find her. I'll get a break in 20 minutes. There's an alley behind the club. Yeah, it's me. I know. No, no, it's, it's okay. I will. Right away. You got two minutes. Do you know where Melissa is? Look, your sister's a good friend. The last few months, she's really pulled herself together. Working hard to get out of this place. Been going to school, hasn't missed a day. School? Yeah. Art classes, mostly. Hmm. We've seen her stuff, it's good. It's special. I always thought so. What? Who are these men? I thought this was about Melissa. Please, just take a look. The one on the right's Carl Delane. That's the guy who was watching us from the bar, right? Yeah. He doesn't like us to get distracted while we're on the clock. And this guy? That's Alex Kendall, right? How'd you know that? I heard his name when the detective questioned me about Melissa. Yeah, there was a vice cop in here asking about her too. Some guy named McLaren? That's him. Wait, vice? What's a vice cop investigating a homicide for? Homicide? Didn't he tell you? Alex Kendall was murdered two nights ago. What? You didn't know. Oh my God. I'm sorry. That's why McLaren's looking for my sister. She was with him that night. She was there. Why didn't you tell me? You mean you spoke with Melissa? You, you know where she is. If Alex is dead, then... Then what? You shouldn't be here. McLaren thinks that she's in on it. But she set Kendall up. I don't know anything about okay, it. Okay, so then should I talk to Carl? You have no idea where you are, do you? Melissa used to talk about you sometimes, about how smart you are, how successful and pretty. Well, be smart now. Walk away. Whatever trouble your sister's in, she'll have to get herself out.
Yeah? It's Kate Brennan. Kate? I need help. I can't do this alone. Sure. Come on in. Two patrolmen came by and took a report, and I just couldn't stay there. It has to be the same people that broke into your sister's place. Why would they search my house? Think about it. They think she took the money. She comes to see you for the first time in six months. What better place to hide it? But she was never there. That you know of. What's that supposed to mean? Have you considered that Melissa may not be as squeaky clean as you think she is? You said you wanted to help me. I'm trying. Well, you've got a funny idea of helping. Well, you need to open your eyes. Melissa works in a strip club. Doesn't that tell you anything? I think I have to go. Kate. Kate, the girl you knew, she's gone. She lives in their world now, where you do whatever you have to do to survive. You don't even know her. Neither do you. And that is the problem. You really think she did it? I don't know. I'm sorry. Please. Let's try to figure this out. Yeah, I'm emailing the pictures right now. No, oh, I stayed with her the whole time, Mr. Falcone. If she'd seen her sister, yeah, I'd know about it. Been hanging out with that guy from the restaurant. Want me to find out who he is? Oh, okay. No, no, I'll stay on her then. She was talking to one of the dancers at the club, too. Good-looking brunette. I don't know, but there's something going on with those two. No one told Shelley that Kendall was dead. But the other owner, Delane, wouldn't he be the first one the police would go to? And why wouldn't he tell the other people in the club? They're going to find out sooner or later, right? Well, in the paper, it said the police hadn't released the victim's name. Maybe the money they're looking for, maybe it has something to do with the club. So you mean like the two owners had a falling out over it? Kendall had it and Delane wanted it. And if Delane didn't know who Melissa's friends are or someone who might help her, he's going to want to keep this quiet until he finds her. Do you have any idea where she might be? McLaren thinks that she brought me into this on purpose. That I was a distraction in order for her to disappear. So I guess she can be anywhere by now. Yeah. Or she could be in an alley somewhere, scared out of her mind because she's got no place to go and no one to turn to. And she's in way over her head. All I'm saying is let the rest work itself out. First, make sure she's safe. I'm gonna go back to the club tomorrow. I think Shelly knows more than she's saying. No, Kate, listen to me. These people are dangerous. They've killed Kendall, they've been through your place. You can't go back there. But if she knows where Melissa is... Let me do it. What? It makes sense, let me do it. They don't know me, I'll pretend I'm a customer, go in and see what I can find out. All right? Look, why don't you stay here tonight? <laughs> Not for that. I, I just mean you can't go back to your place. And I have a perfectly good spare bedroom. And be safe here. Thank you. Shelly, I need to talk to you. Can you meet me right away? I'm at 6th and Maple. Do you know it? The gas station, yeah, I know it. Be careful. Make sure no one follows you. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Shelly! What's going on? Why'd you call? I thought you were working tonight. Why didn't you tell me about Alex? I wanted to. I... I didn't know how. Didn't know how? Damn it, Melissa. How could you not tell me? Did you forget how long he and I were together for? Until you came along? I told you I didn't know about you two, not until after. Yeah, well, you know now. You knew last night. You should have told me he was dead. I'm in serious trouble here, Shelley. I didn't want to get you involved. <laughs> You're watching out for me then? 
keeping me safe. Except for the part where you come to me for a place to stay that's not involving me at all, is it? I was afraid. I... I didn't know where else to go. What about your sister? Sounds real concerned about you. You saw Kate? Yeah, well, it's the best part, isn't it? She's the one who told me about Alex. Said you were there. I saw them shoot him. It was too dark, I couldn't see their faces, but they saw me. And the money? What money? The missing money. The money everyone thinks you've got. I don't know what you're talking about. This, this really works for you, doesn't it? This whole little lost lamb thing. I can see why Alex was attracted to you. Probably made him feel like he was rescuing you, right? Like he was gonna take you away from all this. I really cared about him. Yeah, well, a couple things you don't know, Melissa. Like Alex still used to come see me some nights. Excuse me? Oh, don't worry. We didn't sleep together. I still have a little bit of self-respect left. But we used to talk sometimes. You know what? It was better than the sex. Why are you doing this? Because you need to know just how much trouble you are really in. Look, what are you talking about? One of the nights Alex was over. He got a call on his cell phone. Went outside to talk. Window was open, so I could hear him pretty good. Started yelling at some guy named Falcone about how he didn't care what Carl said and he wanted nothing to do with any drug money. Drug money? Yeah. Why do you think Falcone murdered Alex? Carl made a side deal with Falcone to launder money through the club. And Falcone wanted both partners on board just to be sure. But Alex told him to go to hell, and then he called Carl, and he said that he was going to keep the club legit, even if he had to burn the money to do it. You think Alex took some of the drug money? Well, you would know, wouldn't you? I don't have it. I wish I could believe you. Don't come back to my place, OK? I can't have you there anymore. Shelly, wait. Shelly! You said you were going to check in. Something came up. You didn't answer your cell. I tried you at home until like midnight. I was out. Are you kidding me? You? Who was he? What's his name? Brenda. Did my sister call? No. Um, got a bunch of emails. I marked the important ones. And some of the other prelims came in on the other properties, including Mr. Grant's mini mall. How's that looking? Fine. I had a tough night. Your sister. Maybe we'll talk about it some other time, OK? OK. I'll be out here. Hello? You're an early riser. I left a note. I saw it. I was hoping you'd stick around today, though, under the circumstances. Well, I still have a business to run. I know. I just uh, don't want anything to happen to you. I'll be careful. Good. What time are you going to the club? It doesn't open for a couple more hours. Well, can you call me as soon as you get out of there? Absolutely. Hey, Kate, listen. What is it? Why don't you come back to my place tonight? I'll make dinner. All right. Round six? OK. I'll see you then. See you then. Goodbye. We're closed, Toss. Come back later. You're deaf? Hey, Luke. I didn't know it was you. It's been a while now. Tell him I'm here. I'll get Carl. Dapper as always, Luke. Still living the American dream, I see. Yeah, sometimes I gotta pinch myself. So, 
You got good news for me. I haven't found her. Then to what do I owe the pleasure? It's not working out, Carl. I'm getting nowhere with this one. She's an absolute ice queen. Mm. All attitude, you know? You don't say. You know, the truth is, I don't even like her. No chemistry. I think you might be better off finding someone else. No chemistry. I think you're doing just fine. Just stay charming and sensitive long enough for baby sister to show up. You got somebody following me? Not me, Luke. There are other interested parties involved. Falcone shows me the pictures. I show them to you. This way, we know where everybody stands. Whatever it is Alex took, it must be really important for you to go through all this trouble. <laughs> what trouble? You're doing all the heavy lifting, playing hero in the parking lot, tossing her joint, which reminds me, I need you to toss one of my dancer's cribs. No, I'm done. You're done when I say you're done. Or have you forgotten your little business endeavor, Mr. Mini Mall? I told you I just wanted a steak. You came to me, you made the deal, you took the loan. And now you're charging me so much interest I can't even keep up. And that fact, the fact that you can't make your payments should be uppermost in your mind when I tell you to do something. Otherwise, it stops being business and it becomes personal. You follow? Yeah. Look at the bright side. A couple of years ago, you were just a DJ spinning tunes in a club. Now you're out there buying mini malls. What happens to Kate and her sister when you find what you're looking for? That's not your problem. I am asking, Carl. We're even. You don't owe me anything. We walk away and we never speak of this in polite company again. How does that sound? Like you said, American dream. that place or something not right. Maybe it's because Kendall and Delane used to be detectives. What? Yeah. I did a little research on my own. I found out that they were partners. They both worked vice out of the 83rd precinct. They took an early retirement. They got into business together and they opened up that club. Now take a guess where McLaren works vice. The 83rd. They are old buddies. And this is why he's probably taken such an interest in Melissa. And if he's on the payroll, there's no way in hell he's going to bring her in. No, he's supposed to keep her quiet. Right. And just last year, Delane is questioned about some relationship he has with this guy, Ray Falcone. Who's that? Supposedly some big-time drug dealer, but no one's proven it. Wait, Delane was questioned about this Falcone, but not about Kendall. Kendall's name never came up. So if Delane wanted to go into business with Falcone, maybe that's why their partnership fell apart. It's very possible that the money that they're looking for could be about this deal. Okay. Let's just... 
Meet back at my place at six like we agreed. I'll go back to the club. And do what? Find proof that she's innocent. I'll make sure no one can get to her if she's not. Lost her. Well, it's going to be your problem if the story doesn't play out the way you told it. Melissa didn't show up again today. Did you call her? Just been trying all day. Nobody home. You know her. She'll show up eventually. She always does. So, you're not worried? Should I be? You were talking to her sister last night back in the alley. Well, yeah, I mean, she was looking for her, you know? What'd you tell her? I told her I haven't seen her. Have you seen her? What the hell are you doing in here? Hey, I got a message for you, Carl, from Mr. Falcone. Yeah? Yeah, he said you're late getting that money into his account, and you got 12 hours to rectify the situation, or the whole deal's off. Tony, do you even know what rectify means? Hey, did you hear what I said? Tell me something, Tony. You still do all your business with Mr. Falcone over the phone, the internet? Oh, well, that's how he wants it. Then how do you even know there is a Raymond Falcone? What are you talking about? Well, you never seen him. You never met him. How do you know he even exists? Well, why don't you ask your partner, Alex, if he exists? I find out either one of you had anything to do with that, and getting that money back gonna be the least of your problems. Now get the hell out of my office. It smells great. Nothing fancy, but it'll fill you up. You don't like to have room to plan B. Grilled cheese. <laughs> Did you talk to Shelly? You know what? Suppose for a little while we talk about something else. Sure. I'd like that. Good. Then I'll tell you what. Ask me something. Anything you want. Where were you born? Denver. Way too easy. Okay. I got it. Why is a guy like you not taken? That's a good one. Well, what's the answer? I had a girlfriend not too long ago. We talked about marriage, but in the end, we were just never in sync. What do you mean? Well, there were times when I really loved her, and there were times when she really loved me. But the problem was, it was never at the same time. Her loss. And yourself? I think you're a pretty good cook.
Well, it's a done deal. You can come by and sign off on the paperwork tomorrow. That's great. Thank you. Interesting name for your company, by the way. Liars Poker and Company. Yeah. The only kind of gambling I was ever good at. Know what everyone else has and use it against them. That's a sound philosophy. No, 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 no. What are you doing? Sit down. I can do this. Oh, I'm going to help you. I'll be there in 10 minutes. Please be careful. Don't tell anybody. I'm on my way. I mean it, Katie. Don't tell anybody. I've got to go. I'll come with you. No. Kate, you can't go alone. They're watching you. Luke, she's hysterical. If I bring anyone else with me, she may run off again. I'll never find her. All right. Well, please, uh, at least let me know where you're going. Six and make. But please, just wait till I call you first. All right. that I was staying with Shelly and went looking for me. I don't understand why they had to kill her. She didn't do anything. She was protecting you. What? Do you know she didn't tell anybody you were staying with her? Not even me. What do you mean? I came looking for you at the club. Because I saw them kill Alex. And because of the money. I don't have any money. That's not gonna work this time, Melissa. I don't know what you're talking about. I saw them shoot Alex and I ran. I haven't stopped running for two days. They tore up your apartment. They tore up my place, Shelly's place. Somebody is looking for something. Well, I haven't got it. Then where is it? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Whatever is going on, you know they have a cop looking for you too? Yeah, Shelly told me. Did she tell you that he used to work vice with Alex and Delane? No, she didn't say that. Everybody knows Alex used to be a, a cop. Him and Carl both were. Yeah, that Delane guy, I think, is a, a different story. I think he was messed up with some drug dealer. Alcone? What do you know about him? Nothing. I... Shelly said that she overheard Alex arguing with him on the phone about laundering money through the club. Alex said he'd burn it first. But Delane was okay with it? According to Shelly. He took the money. Alex would never steal. Not to steal it keep them from washing the money through the club. Well, then he must have had it with him the night he was shot. And now they can't find it. That's why they think I took it. I didn't do it, Katie. I swear, you've got to believe me. I'm not lying this time. OK, listen to me. Did Alex ever tell you anything about a safe, a safety deposit box, or anything like that? Not to me. What about an apartment or anywhere, something where nobody else would know about? Nothing. Melissa, come on. We got to find this money or the police are not going to listen to well, you. Well, where else could he have hit it? OK, you have to remember. What did you do after Alex was shot? Nothing. I ran out. Did you have something of his or did you take anything of his? Oh, just the keys to his car. You took his car? I had to. I had no other way out. Where is it? Where is it? I hid it. I, I figured they'd be looking for it. Well, we have to go right now. Take me there. Now! Okay.
You don't mind. I took it from your apartment. Twin Oaks. I used to wish we never had to leave. No one's following us, right? No. That's it. Turn up here. Okay. Believe Alex still had a gun. Be careful with that. Well, there's nothing here. Where could he possibly have put the money? I'm sorry I took your tip money. You know, sometimes I wanted to be just like you. What? I was always so focused on school and work and getting ahead and I never made time for people just to see if somebody's interesting or fun or attractive but people always loved you and you fell in love you had a lot of friends you were never lonely you should have said something I had to be strong strong enough for everyone no one's that strong not alone. And that's what mom and dad were always saying to us, remember? Family comes first. I missed you so much. Let's get going, okay? Let's get out of here. Wait, what's that? I don't know what was on it. Looks like some sort of flash drive or something. Well, they said that he took the money, but he never had any cash. This might be what they're looking for. I don't get it. What is it? It's the end of the road, doll. I figured you two would find each other sooner or later. I got sisters of my own, thick as thieves. Oh, well, they must be really proud of you. Oh, okay, smart mouth. Just for that, she gets it first. <laughs> Stop it, okay? This is what you want. What's that? Flash drive. What everyone's been looking for. Huh? Don't move or I'll shoot. Okay? Take my phone. Wait for me to call you. Okay? Find a safe place. Go! Go! Kendall took the account numbers. Liar's poker. Is that what all the fuss was about? <gasps> Whoa. Kate, what are you doing? Liar's poker? Let me explain. No, no. You, I understand the game now. You know what everybody else has, and then you use it against them, right? It wasn't like that. No, please. I don't really want to hear it. Kate, look. Look. I don't have anything, all right? I'm not going to hurt you. Please, just... Can we talk about this? Yeah, talk. Come on. Did you work with Delane all along? Yeah. <laughs> and what, you uh, laundered the money through the club? I didn't know anything about that, I swear. Look, he made me alone. They kept track of the interest of the club's account, okay? He told me that Melissa had taken something that he had to get back. I didn't even ask what it was. What about me? I was supposed to get close to you. Get the lonely sister. Well, you're very convincing. You sure earned your pay. <laughs> you know? 
please. I, what was I thinking? You know, you were popping up, you were showing up, trying to help me so much. At first, yes. But then, when I got to know you, when I... I actually started to care about you. And I told Carl that I couldn't do it anymore. But he wouldn't let me stop. I owe him a lot of money, Kate. A lot of money. And he's using it to blackmail me. And what about Melissa? Were you gonna kill her and then you're gonna kill me like you did 